Today we're going to start out with our sentences and fragments practice. So we're going to work on the first two bubbles in this video. The first should be a review for you dealing with complete or incomplete thoughts. We've done that with our colons and semicolons when we were trying to look at those, as well as the unit we did prior to this. So hopefully you'll be able to fly through this one pretty quickly. So here we have funny to see. We don't know what's funny to see, we don't know who thinks this, so this one is an incomplete thought. Lily Aldrin stepped out onto the red carpet. This is a complete thought. We have our subject and our verb and where they were stepping out to. Looking for the door is incomplete because we don't know who is looking for the door. We're missing that subject of a sentence. Pam Beasley bought a magic wand. This is a complete thought. We have our subject and our verb. The food will be delicious is a complete thought. We have our subject and our verb. Now if you look because Eugene Krabs is cooking, this part is an incomplete thought, but here in yellow is a complete thought. I'll go ahead and work through these. You can watch on the screen if you like. Looks like I have just a few more problems. You can skip ahead as well or pause and see if you can figure them out on your own. Here we have if Jarrah Hoffman's team needs a coach. We don't know what happens if that, so this one's an incomplete. It's also functioning as an introductory clause. Gary the snail will do his goat impressions. That's a complete thought. Minerva McGonagall turned off her phone. Complete thought. Because you make parties more fun. We don't know what happens because you make parties more fun. So that one's incomplete. So here's where we're going to start looking at independent and dependent clauses. So a dependent clause is what we're going to focus on today. Now, friendly reminder, a clause is just a group of words that has a subject and a verb. That's what makes them different than a phrase. So for instance, a prepositional phrase might be on the table. This doesn't have a subject and verb. So we classify that as a phrase. A clause has to have a subject and a verb. Now with our dependent clauses, these are our clauses that are trying to give more information to be really supportive of an independent clause, but they're not super strong and they can't stand alone as a sentence by themselves. An independent clause can. If something's independent, it means it can stand alone, doesn't need anything else. So in our sentence here, my English teacher has a jacket. That is an independent clause. It is a complete thought. It doesn't need any more information to make sense. That she found at the zoo, however, is a dependent clause that's giving us more information about that jacket. But if I just say that she found at the zoo, it doesn't make very much sense. So what we're going to do is work through a few of these together. You'll notice that most of the time our dependent clauses begin at the very beginning of a sentence as an introductory clause or at the very end using a subordinating conjunction or those swabbies. So let's work through a few together. We want to highlight all the words that make up the dependent clause. Sandy Cheeks read through all the holiday gift catalogs, which helped her find the best deal. Our dependent clause on this one is which helped her find the best deals. This can't stand by itself, but we do still have a subject and a verb. William Shakespeare read a book while the plane was taking off. While the plane was taking off is giving us more information about when the reading was happening. We still have our subject and verb. In this sentence, because the ice cream truck was nearby, we have an introductory clause as our dependent clause. This is here at the beginning, everything before that comma, because this highlighted part can't make sense by itself, but I could just say Ryan Howard and his friends decided to buy some treats, and that would make plenty of sense. Primrose Everdeen won the trophy that 
I had shined for hours gives us more information about that trophy. So I hope these were really helpful for you. As always, if you need additional help, don't hesitate to reach out. In the next video, we'll we will continue on working with independent clauses.